Kai KF-21 Yang Ho. This is Korea's first stealth fighter jet that can control three unmanned combat aerial vehicles. What is with this fighter jet? Let's see in this video. The KF-21 project started when President Kim Dae-jung announced in 2001 that South Korea needed to make its own fighter jet and it had to be developed in 2015. But then, the construction was delayed. One of the reasons was the objection of the U.S. to transfer some important technologies from the F-35 to KF-21. Nevertheless, the construction of KF-21 pushed through. KF-21 was jointly developed by the South Korean government and the Indonesian government together with the manufacturer Korea Aerospace Industries. This fighter belongs to the 4.5 generation multirole fighter jets, but this has limited stealth capabilities. However, this fighter can evolve into a 6th generation fighter. Let's look at the specifications. Length, 16.9 meters. Height, 4.7 meters. Wingspan, 11.2 meters. M28, 11,800 kilograms. Maximum takeoff weight, 25,580 kilograms. This means that KF-21 can carry many weapons, but it will reduce its stealthiness. Powering the KF-21 are two General Electric F414G400K with a thrust of 44,000 pounds of force. Because of these, KF-21 can fly up to a speed of Mach 1.8 and a range of 2,900 kilometers. This is slower than other single-engine 4.5 plus generation fighters like the F-16 and Gripen E, and this is just as fast as the F-35. But because KF-21 has a thrust of 44,000 pounds of force, it is faster when it comes to sudden turns, during dogfight, and it is expected to have a faster rate of climb. Let's look at its cockpit and avionics. The cockpit has a wide multifunction display, just like the cockpits of Gripen E and F-35. The control stick is situated on the right side of the cockpit. It also has small displays below the wide display. Although it wasn't stated, based on the videos that surfaced, the pilot who tested the KF-21 used Targo-2 of Elbit Systems. The GHCS-2 can also be used since KF-21 was based almost entirely from F-35. In terms of avionics, the KF-21 is loaded with the latest technology. It uses a fixed ASA radar made by Hanwha Systems. We can see that the radar is slightly angled, just like the radar of Gripen E, but this does not rotate. It also has infrared search and track sensor, a similar setup in SU-57s and Gripen E's IRST, electro-optical targeting pod that looks similar to the ANAE Q33 targeting pod of Lockheed Martin, and ALQ-200K radio frequency jammer made by Lignex-1. South Korea was forced to make their own ASA radar, IRST, targeting pod, and jammer pod because the U.S. did not allow the same technology to be transferred from the F-35. We know how strict the U.S. is when it comes to this kind of topic. For example, the U.S. did not allow the exportation of F-22 Raptor even to allied countries. KF-21 has data link capabilities, so it is highly likely that it will have Link-16 knowing that South Korea has F-35. It also has a ground collision avoidance system, so the pilot is safe when he or she loses consciousness or when the dogfight gets to an uneven terrain just like this. Armaments We can see that the KF-21 has 10 hardpoints for weapons, 6 under the wings, and 4 under the fuselage. M61A2 20mm General Dynamics Gatling Gun that can burst up to 6,000 rounds per minute. This is located above the left engine inlet. Air-to-air -air missiles. Meet your missile like the Brahmos that has ramjet system. This has 60km no escape zone. AIM-120 AMRAM. AIM-9X Sidewinder or IRST, air-to-ground missiles, Taurus kept 350, 
and AGM-65. It can also be equipped with guided bombs like GBU-54LJ DAM and GBU-12LGB, anti-ship missiles, AGM-84 Harpoon, and AGM Harm. As can be seen, KF-21 has external fuel tanks, but it is not clear yet how many gallons of fuel each tank can carry. The cost per flight hour is estimated to be half the cost per flight hour of the F-35A amounting to $36,000 per hour. In terms of design, it looks like a combination of F-15 Eagle, F-22 Raptor, and F-35 Lightning. It's not a full stealth fighter jet as it does not have internal base for the weapons but it has a reduced radar signature than the F-16 and other 4.5 generation MRFs because of the geometry of its airframe and the radar absorbent material used in it. It is in the plan that the Block 3 or 6th generation version of KF-21 will have full stealth capability. This means that it will have an internal weapons bay. Block 1 will have air-to-air -air capability, while Block 2 will have air-to-ground capability. South Korea also aims to enable KF-21 to operate together with three unmanned aerial combat vehicles. These can be controlled using the KF-21. A UCAV can carry munitions like the Korean GPS-guided bomb or Taurus Cap 350 cruise missile. UCAVs are very useful. For example, because UCAVs have targeting capabilities, the KF-21 can choose not to use its radar so that it cannot be detected by the enemies. After getting the target, KF-21 can now use its meteor missile to hit the enemy. But the UCAVs are only applicable to Block 3 KF-21. These are still in development, and if they are successful, the price of KF-21 will likely rise as well. Take note that this fighter jet is still in development, so it is possible that some changes on its specs will be done in the future. The final model will be completed in 2026, while the expert versions will be completed in 2028. The expected price of KF-21 is $65 million, but it's not clear if the weapons and equipment are already included. On paper, the KF-21 is a promising fighter jet because of its capabilities at a cheaper price compared to other fighters in its generation.